Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, April 8th. Sorry about yesterday. I couldn't do it. So here we are today. Daily vibes, daily energy for Sunday, April 8th. Uh, lack of faith. Maybe somebody is needing to listen to their inner guide and they're not doing it. Maybe somebody isn't believing in themselves enough. Unable to commit to a situation. Seeking guidance. Somebody is uh, wanting to hear, get the answers, but they may not be listening. Okay? They may not be open to what they're hearing. Yeah, somebody is not feeling loved, perhaps, or they're having a lack of faith in love. Ooh. Um... Here we have, we have Taurus a couple times. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, it feels as though, you know, somebody's going through some sort of renewal. Or rebirth. Letting go of the past. Letting go of something. Releasing the trouble. Letting go. Maybe you need to let go of the trouble. Giving up the fight. Ah. Now, it came out sideways. I'm going to make it be upright, but this is the Seven of Swords. Somebody has either been deceiving themselves or they have been deceived by another. Somebody's wearing a mask. Why? Why is somebody wearing a mask and not being honest? Somebody's being dishonest here. Reluctant to see a new approach. Blocking. Blocking somebody. Blocking communication. Blocking love. Somebody is afraid of love, afraid to express their love, maybe because they don't want a commitment. Maybe they're afraid of commitment. That's what it looks like. But I think somebody's on the edge. Maybe they're letting go of their, they're wanting to let go of their fears, wanting to let go of the past because I think they're dealing with somebody that they love. That is very beautiful. You're dealing with somebody who has a beautiful soul. Whether that's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody has a lot, has a lot of inner beauty and outer beauty. But they're being blocked or they're blocking communication. Somebody is not communicating with somebody that they love. It's like they're throwing love away. Because they're un, they, they don't want to fight. They, they don't want to fight for something. It's like there's a, a feeling of, I give up. I just give up. But there is some deceit, okay? There's definitely some deceit and betrayal here. And I think this is self-deceit. Somebody is wearing a mask and it has to do with commitment. I am afraid of commitment. Yeah, but they're suffering. Somebody is suffering greatly over this lack of communication, over this, this feeling of not receiving the love that they want. Okay, somebody is definitely suffering. Somebody has grown, you know, they've grown internally. Somebody is going through some sort of 
rebirth process that is allowing them to let go of or asking them to let go of the past hurts, struggles. If somebody is resisting a change, they're resisting the new the new start. They're resisting the love. And I think they're resisting the love because of, of commitment. They don't believe in themselves or they don't believe in commitment, period. Somebody had lacks faith in love here. Let me get this zoomed in. Or centered, whatever you want to call it. Um... See what else we can get here. You're, you're dealing with an earth sign, I believe. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here, and Taurus here. But somebody needs to put in more work. You know, somebody, if you want this love or you want this commitment, you're going to have to put work into it. You're going to have to put energy into it. I feel as though somebody needs to take the lead and take the mature approach. Somebody is, is, is burying themselves in their work, in their career, in their, you know, job to bury the pain that they're going through, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. But they aren't we having victory and success elsewhere. It's like there's, there's, they're not making progress. Somebody isn't making progress because they're afraid to... They're afraid to take action. They're afraid to move forward. They're they're letting fear drive, you know, and this is definitely fear of commitment. That's what I see. I feel like somebody is is really going through a dark night of the soul moment. They are really trying to focus on what they want. What are they what are they looking for? Um, where am I going? What am I doing? Uh And, it, and it's going to serve you very well, this, this period of isolation that you're putting yourself through. I think somebody is perhaps going through some sort of midlife crisis that is, it's, it's slowed them down because they need to find their, their self-love again so that they can offer love and offer commitment to somebody. So I feel like somebody is, is really working on themselves. I think today is a day of of still more contemplation, more soul searching, more um, trying to figure out where you want to go, what I want to do. I don't see any forward movement though. I feel like today that somebody isn't making a lot of progress in regards to finding new love or reconciling with somebody. Um, if you're in a relationship, there could be some, there could have been some sort of deceit, betrayal, whatever, that that someone is unable to even talk about or communicate or work on because they, they just don't know what they're doing. They don't know where they want to go. So I think this today is a day of of digging deep within, doing some soul searching to figure out what it is you want, where I'm going, what do I want, what are my fears, how do I overcome my fears, focusing on the future, focusing on what you want. You may just feel like you want to be alone today. You don't even want to talk to anybody. You don't want to give, okay? I feel like right now there is there is some kind of blocked communication. There is uh, blocked feelings as well. Somebody is, is not feeling worthy. They're not feeling confident. They're not feeling good about what has happened. And, you know, maybe they're feeling like, I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going, this is never going to happen. I'm, you know, I feel like somebody is feeling pretty lonely and they, um, lonely because they're not, there's no forward movement. Things aren't happening the way that they, 
they would have liked in regards to love. But it's because somebody is letting fear drive. And that's what's going on. And they're burying the fear in their work. Okay? Or in everything but love. Because somebody... I see, see that somebody here wants love. But I think it's a reconciliation that they would like. But they have this fear of taking action. Somebody is not moving forward. So I feel like today is a day of continual soul searching to figure out what is the next step to take. Do I even want to take another step? I think today is a is a quiet day where you take this it's a thinking day. Think 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 think. Alone alone I just I just need to think about things I really don't want to communicate with anybody I really don't want to um, move forward with somebody because I really don't know what I'm doing so I think today is a day of, of refocusing on your future and trying to come up with the next step the step that's going to lead to stability and security. And I really feel like, and I know that there are this, so many signs watching this, but we have earth signs here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's what we have. And we have cancer as well. So, um, it, you know, that's what it looks like to me. If you want something to move forward, you're going to have to put effort into it, okay? I feel like somebody is on the verge of giving up, and it's heartbreaking. On the verge of giving up, and it's heartbreaking. And they're wearing a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask. They're deceiving themselves because of fear of commitment. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. Ask. But you have to have faith. Okay? When, when you ask, you have to have faith. And you have to listen. And you have to be open to receiving the answers. If you ask, but you don't have faith that they're going to answer you, then you're not going to hear the answers. And you have to know that sometimes the answers don't come immediately. Okay, sometimes they'll take days to come. Sometimes they will come immediately. It depends how much faith you have. I'm going to get one of these. And when I'm shuffling these, I look up because I don't want to see what's on the cards because both sides have things. So I'm just going to look up and hopefully a card will fall out. I'm going to use this one reflect yes today is a day of reflection it just totally reiterates what I was saying today I need to think about where I'm going what I'm doing what I want what's best for me keep your eyes open joy lives in small places Keep your eyes open. So anyway, I feel like today is a day of figuring out what you want. Talk to you later.